It is a hazard and a nuisance, and a caller to the Eyewitness News tip line complains not enough is being done about dogs running loose in his neighborhood. Eyewitness News reporter Carol Ferguson investigates. Well, our viewer lives in Oildale. We went out for a look this morning, and in less than an hour, we saw the problem firsthand. There's a lot of dogs running loose. We spotted this pair almost immediately. The bigger one has a collar. Since I talked to you at about 45 minutes ago, I walked around the block and I got like four pictures of dogs just running loose. Kevin Means called us and got more evidence. Oh, there's a dog. There's three of them right there. He worries about safety, even around. with the smaller dogs. The little white one does try to bite the ankle sometimes. Joshua Teague worries too. Down here, it's worse. Often, several pit bulls. It didn't bite me. It came. It was. It was coming behind me, real fast. Um, I. I just need. You know, help means also once answers. Uh, what are the leash laws regarding people with dogs on leashes? Uh, at all times, an animal must be secured by its owner. Kern County Animal Control Officer Nicholas Riddick says by law, owners must keep dogs on their property. Uh, whether that be from a fence or some kind of periphery that allows the animal to be contained. When walking a dog, it must be on a leash. Though Means sees one guy. He had a leash on his dog and he was riding his bike, but the leash was just dragging behind him. So is that against the law? In a, in a very short sentence, the answer would be yes. The animal does have to be able to be secured. Come here, little guy. Come here. Means worries about the safety of his pet and his neighbors. We saw these dogs scurry around this woman. Dogs loose in the neighborhoods, darting between cars. If it's a law, if they, they should enforce the laws. If in order to enforce the law, the violation does have to happen in our presence. Riddick says officers will come out. They do have to prioritize the most dangerous situations, but they also need your help. It is vital that you contact animal control so that we can go out there and, and, and do our job in ensuring the security and safety of not only the animals, but the public as well. Now here's that number to reach Animal Control, 321-3000. After regular business hours, Riddick says calls go to the Sheriff's Department. He says there is always an Animal Control officer on call. One more thing, he says they also really need pet owners to be responsible. Back to you. Thanks, Carol. Remember, if you have a story like this one you want us to investigate, call the Eyewitness News tip line, 869-2929. That number, once again, is 869-2929.